Welcome back, guys. Uh, this is the last hoorah on the spoilers, but I will be releasing my own personal top 10 picks of Guilds of Ravnica. That's something new I haven't done before, but there are some cards I, I slightly disagree with some other people on, and, um, you know, it's, uh, it's a, it's, some of them are going to be a gamble, but I do believe they, uh, they will fit the bill, and uh, I'll cover those in the next 24 hours. I'll drop that video. Also, we're going to be cracking open a booster box of Time Spiral. That is just never done. Uh, I think it's only been done one other time on YouTube, so that'll be really exciting. All right, let's get into this. First up, baby, Wishcoin Crab on the left, 2-5. There's, there's a lot of commons, guys, in this, so I'm just kind of going to blow through it, all right? Selective Snare, X and an Island. Return X target creatures of the creature type of your choice to the owner's hand. That's actually kind of a neat card. Uh, unfortunately, it's a sorcery, which is kind of a bummer. If it was an instant, I think they'd see a heck of a lot of play. Uh, Vildalkin Mesmerist. It's a deuce. When Vildalkin Mesmerist attacks, target creature gets... Or, I'm sorry, target creature and opponent controls gets minus two, minus zero until end of turn. A lot of limited play stuff, of course. Leapfrog, huh? That's fun. Leapfrog has flying as long as you've cast an instant or sorcery spell this turn. Ah, oh, if they couldn't have snuck that in for a two drop, it would have been amazing. Okay, that would have been a little cheap, I guess. Uh, Dazzling Lights is a one drop. Target creature gets minus three, minus zero until end of turn. Surveil for two. That may see some play. Uh, capture Sphere is a four drop. It's got the old flash. Enchant Creature. When Capture Sphere enters the battlefield, tap Enchanted Creature. Enchanted Creature doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. Yeah, we've seen some very similar cards to this, if not even Capture Sphere itself. Uh, quite a few of these are reprints, just a heads up. Take Heart. Target Creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. You gain one life for each attacking creature you control. That is not too bad. Um, uh, there are worse uh, cards similar to Take Heart that just don't do much for you. Um, but they, they gain one life for each attacking creature you control. That's pretty sweet. Um, with that angel, you, what you need to gain, I think it's five life. And then you're able to drop a 4-4 four, four angel with uh, flying and vigilance. Resurgence angel, or is it? No, I'm saying that wrong. Ah, uh, yeah, we don't prepare much for videos here. We just like to wing it. Um, but, yeah, you can use it with that card. Uh, I'm just saying, it, it's, it's especially in limited or something. Maybe not in limited. That probably wouldn't work because, uh, yeah, you're limited to only these cards in this set. Moving on, Sworn Companions. It's a three drop. Create two 1-1 one, one white soldier creature tokens with Vigilance, with Lifelink. Um, create two 1-1 one, one white soldier creature tokens with Lifelink. Yeah, we've seen this a billion times. Um, it's just another way to get some more tokens out there. Skyline Scout. You know, the artwork's not bad on this set. Still looking quite animated. Um, or not animated, but uh, computer generated. And I'm sure a lot of it is. But we're going to get into some stuff I think that was not, maybe. Skyline Scout. Whenever Skyline Scout attacks, you may pay two. If you do, it gains flying until end of turn. I think that is probably one of the worst cards I've seen in this set. Uh, Luminous Bonds. This is definitely a reprint. Um, Enchant Creature. Enchanted Creature can't attack or block. It's a three drop. I actually was playing in a limited format last night, and my buddy used this against me. Uh, intrusive Pack Beast. There you go. For five. Vigilance. When Intrusive Pack Beast enters the battlefield, tap up to two target creatures your opponents control. It's a three three. Not bad in limited. Demotion. You're going to hear limited a lot in this video. Enchant Creature. Enchanted Creature can't block. And its activated abilities can't be activated. Well, that's a little different. I don't, have we ever had Demotion before in a card? I don't believe so. Um, but just having the Enchanted Creature can't block and just limiting to only can't block instead of like the Luminous Bonds where it can't attack or block. And its activated abilities can't be activated. That's kind of cool. I mean, just for a one drop on common, I think that's not bad. Bounty of Might, the old six drop. Target creature gets plus three, plus three until end of turn. Target creature gets plus three, plus three until end of turn. Target creature gets plus three, plus three until end of turn. That's kind of cool. So you can target three separate creatures and give them plus three, plus three. I've never seen that on a card before. Not like that, repeating itself. Um, that's different. I think that's kind of neat. So you can choose the same creature 
three times, you can choose it twice and another one, or you can choose three separate creatures to give plus three, plus three to. I think that's kind of a neat card. For six, yeah, it's pretty high. Maybe five would have been justice on this, but no, that would have been crazy. Uh, Chamber Sentry, X. Artifact Creature Construct. Uh-oh, guys. Chamber Sentry enters a battlefield with a plus one, plus one counter on it. For each color of mana spent to cast it. Mm -hmm. For X, remove X plus one, plus one counters from Chamber Sentry. It deals X damage to any target. Oh, man. So we're basically bringing back uh, our, our our friends that we don't hate with the, the hanger back and uh, the most recent one that's rotating out. Man, I, I use these cards every single day, and I just can't think of them off the top of my head. It's Joy Moss for you guys. Uh, for five different colors, return Chamber Sentry from your graveyard to your hand. Okay. Um, if you got that kind of magic, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, that looks like a fun card. I think it's going to see play for sure. Um, yeah. And probably also in a commander, I would imagine we'll see some of this. Uh, inspiring Unicorn on the right here. Whenever Inspiring Unicorn attacks, creatures you control get plus one, plus one until end of turn. It's a four drop deuce, deuce. I just like unicorns. Um, I like, I, I do like unicorns. I think they're fun. Everyone wanted to ride a magical unicorn. Was that just me? Was that just me? Was I the only boy that wanted to ride a magical unicorn? Okay. I think I might have been. Um, pretty cool card. Uh, whenever it attacks, creatures you control get plus one, plus one, so end of turn. I think, you know, lifelink and unicorns should go together. I mean, they're just so darn magical. But this one's lacking lifelink. So, unfortunately, that's a, that's a big no for me, dog. Limited bomb, though. Uh, Plague Crafter. Maybe not bomb, but it'll be good. Three drop. When Plague Crafter enters the battlefield, each player sacrifices a creature or planeswalker. Each player who can't discards a card. I think that's neat. Um, it is each player, though. It's kind of brutal. So, I mean, maybe a token strategy. I don't know. Or just something you want to dump into your graveyard because you're going to bring it back anyway. So, that's neat. That's neat. Erstwhile Trooper over here. Discard a creature card. Erstwhile Trooper gets plus two, plus two, and gains tramp on one of turn. Activates ability only once each turn. Now, again, there's a, lo a lot of interaction with graveyards, and a lot of people want to dump stuff into their graveyards i'm more excited to be that guy that's like no i'm gonna exile all your cards from your graveyard and just win the game <laughs> because if you lock down someone's graveyard it seems in this new standard uh the majority of the decks will will just fall to pieces and i think that's something i'm looking forward to doing to many opponents flight of equinauts eight dropper with convoke human knight flying four five pretty sweet the only problem is it's only ability really is flying once you get past the convoke but to get a flyer with uh, i mean this dude's essentially riding a pegasus um and it's a knight i mean i think that's really cool it's a knight card because knights are still a thing in case you didn't in case you forgot knights are still a thing uh being a four or five flyer that's pretty big uh i think it might see some play i mean just having a human knight with flying off rip that's pretty cool so some play Righteous Blow, definitely a re, uh, reprint. Righteous Blow deals two damage to target attacking or blocking creature. It's a one dropper. Tenth dr District Guard. You know, where's the fifth District Guard and the ninth District Guard? Did we see any of them? I don't recall. When Tenth District Guard enters a battlefield, target creature gets plus zero, plus one until end of turn. I can think of better cards, uh, but I can think of worse ones as well. Crush Contraband for four. Choose one or both. Exile, target, artifact. Exile, target, enchantment. At least there's choices on there. And you can choose both. That's pretty neat. I believe we are down to the nitty gritty here. Did I skip one? There we go. Citywide bust. Destroy all creatures with toughness four or greater. Yeah, baby. This is really going to mess up some decks. Uh, anything toughness four or greater. Uh, we'll see. Uh, maybe even build a strategy. Uh, throw four of these into your deck and build a strategy of creatures that just don't get bigger than three. Uh, I mean, maybe you want to go that route. I don't know. But that could be something that you do. Citywide bust can be... Uh, it's a, I think it's a pretty good card. I mean, especially depending on what the deck you're building. If you build around this card, you're definitely going to you're gonna win some matches. I'll put it that way. I'll make a deck around this card also with a... When uh, Arena launches uh, the new cards, I'll be the first sucker to buy them all up, and uh, we'll, bu we'll build a lot of decks. Generous Stray, it's a three-drop. 
When a generous stranger enters the battlefield, meow, a card. It's a one, two. Look at that cat. How does that cat have two toughness? I am just curious. And that poor Geico guy, man, he's just laying there dead. That's sad. That is sad. Uh, Dowser of Lights. It's a horror. It's a four, five, big old dummy. Uh, yep. Child of Night, two drop. I love the new artwork on Child of Night. That is really, really cool. I'm, I'm a huge fan of that artwork right there. I can't wait to see more art from, who is that? I can hardly make it out. Someone give them uh, some respect in the in the comments below. I can't make that out. Lore, core, uh, I- Igor, Igor, Igor. It's just kind of blurry. It's that lifelink deuce one. Child of Night, cool card. Deadweight, another reprint. Enchant Creature, Enchanted Creature gets minus two, minus two. It's a one drop. So that wraps up all the spoilers. Um, just kidding. Muse Drake. Drake. I didn't know I had more. It's a four drop. When Muse Drake enters the battlefield, draw a card, it has flying. Generous Stray yet again. Well, of Miss Defender, it's another reprint. Just printed. Uh, it's a zero five. And then we have Pilfering Imp. It's a one drop. Flying, uncommon. For due, sacrifice pilfering imp. Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non-land card from it. That player discards that card. Activates ability only any time you can cast sorcery. Kind of neat to see that on a card uh, that you can get your opponent to discard. So that's pretty neat. I kind of like it. Uh, Mephitic Vapors. It's a three drop. All creatures get minus one, minus one until end of turn. Surveil for two. That's pretty cool to be a common and just give everything minus one, minus one. Just you know, sideboard this if you just got a big board wipe for all them tokens, man. We'll see you later. Crawl Swarm is a five drop. Flying for three, discard a creature card. Return Crawl Swarm from your graveyard to your hand. It's a 4 1 flyer. At least it comes back to your hand. That's pretty cool. A way to do it. I believe we're about done here. Is this it? Uh, spinal Centipede. When Spinal Centipede dies, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control. Severed Strands is a two drop. As additional cost to cast this spell, sacrifice a creature. You gain life equal to the sacrifice creature's toughness. Destroy a target creature and opponent controls. Pretty neat. I like that. And I believe we're on to the last. Hoorah. Burglar Rat enters the battlefield. Each opponent discards a card. Bartisan Bats is a four drop, but flying three, one. Barrier of Bones. Sounds like a reprint. Defender, when Barrier of Bones enters the battlefield, surveil one, it's a zero three. All right. I, I kind of zipped through these because there was not much of a point. I mean, they're all mostly commons and uncommons. I pointed out whatever uncommons that were decent. Uh, let me know your guys' thoughts on the inset in a whole. What do you think are the best cards? I want to know your guys' thoughts on the top cards in this set. Please, by all means, let me know those. Um, maybe even, uh, I'm sure some of them will appear in the top 10, but, uh, by all means, yeah, uh, thumbs up the video and, uh, I can't wait to crack open this other box of, uh, time spiral. It's going to be exciting. All right, guys. Uh, I will see you soon. PLA.